Dr. Flager, a uh, question for you. In our quest for equality for men and women, have we removed from the home a safeguard much needed in raising up respectable and socially disciplined children? In addition, have parents placed their wishes or the well-being of their children in the hands of others in their strive to climb the ladder of success? Lord have mercy. Um, well, I think we have to put the parents in the context of a society in which we're in. And I want to start with what the minister just said about the word. Because we have now deposited a word of lack of value of life for husbands, for wives, in the home, with the children, in the community, in the neighborhood. So that word, as, as the minister mentioned, in the 14th verse, it says, the word shall become flesh. We're seeing the result of words planted. We're also living in a society that I've never in all my 60 years have ever seen more selfish and self-centered as we are right now. We're a society that says, live for me. We have become our own gods. And so we live this selfish society where we become golden caps unto ourselves, and we've been conditioned that way, take care of me. And at the same time, we've been taught that what makes you valuable is not what God says you are, but what you possess. So what you wear and where you live and what you drive makes you feel like you're valuable. And society tells you you're valuable. So if I have an attaché case, I'm more valuable than a man who has come from working in a, in a job on the street with overalls. And the society tells you you're more than or less than because of what you wear and how you live and where you live. So we have a selfish society, then a society that says your value is in your possessions. We have a disconnected society where we don't even talk to each other in our house. A disconnected society where we don't talk to each other. We do not have parenting classes by going to books or going to churches, synagogues, or mosques to have a class. Parenting classes used to be over the backyard fence. Parenting classes used to be on the porches out in front. It used to be neighbors talking to one another and sharing with one another and teaching one another and using wisdom from one another, talking to our elders, talking to parents. But we've been disconnected from our best resources, God and ourselves. We are in a selfish society. And then we find ourselves in a society where, 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 where so many of our parents are fighting to survive. They're fighting to survive, and we're saying, we're asking parents to love their children who don't even love themselves. Parents, take time with your child while that mother is working 12 and 14 hours a day trying to keep a roof over the child's head, trying to put food on the table. So have parents, are, are, are parents failing to love and to, and to raise up their children to understand their identity in God, they're certainly, a, they're certainly a part of that. But unless we give the parents the resources to be parents, unless our parents are, first of all, in our churches, synagogues, and mosques, unless the husband and the wife, the mother and the father, is taught who they are, how can they teach the child? So unless parents understand their dignity, their beauty, their awesomeness, and their image in the likeness of God, they can never pass that on or witness that and model that to their children. So we have to give, uh, we have to transform a society that's conditioned us to be selfish, to have things, to be disconnected, and then blame the parent when we pull every resource from the parent away and has a mother struggling just to live, just to not be in a shelter. So unless we provide her with the opportunities to educate her, to support her, to give her the resources, what about the mother that, that comes and says, I don't belong to a church, I don't belong to a, syn a synagogue, I don't belong to a mosque, and my, I'm having problems with my child, where do I go? There's no place for you to go because we've pulled every resource and we say, now, raise, take care of it yourself, and she's crying for help. And then when that child is, is arrested, we blame the mother. The mother said, I asked you for help, and you turned your back. And the Bible says, whatever you do for the least of your brothers and sisters, you did not do it for them, you did not do it for me. And we have to take responsibility for broken communities. Thank you, Father Flager. Before we move on.